fire, but if the water will freeze. Yeah, I'm not right. Don't end before we get started. I'll be all alone sometimes. Got a flight to LA, I'm on it. Living on our own, we going it like that. And when the time comes to get mobbed, then we don't. Let it go to waste. It's long, summer nights gon' fade. <sighs> Hopefully this video looks and sounds a lot better than the last iPhone uh, bike video that I did. But what's going on guys? Once again, back with another mod video. Last video I did mention that Luminade was going to send out a product and uh, it came in the mail today. This is their plug and play turn signal kit for the Super 73 RX and I think S2 and R. With that, I mean, they're same difference, but whatever. And uh, we're gonna install it today on the RX, uh, which is actually perfect because uh, as off-road style as the RX is kind of advertised as, I really do a lot more street riding in my area. There's not really that many off-road areas. So I'm always like not, I wouldn't say going in and out of traffic in between cars, but you know, I'm in the bike lane. Sometimes I have to switch over to the actual car lane to make a specific turn. And so I kind of have to like bob and weave almost without telling the cars behind me that I have to turn. So. These uh, turn signal kits definitely going to come in clutch and uh, I don't have my 360 camera anymore, so I can't really test it out while riding, but we'll see how it works. So I haven't even really opened the box to fully examine everything, but just taking a look at the bike, I'm going to assume that the front turn signals go in this hole for the headlight here. And for the rear turn signals, I'm sure, yeah, I'm going to have to take off this panel, which is perfectly fine. I was honestly thinking about taking it off anyway. Uh, because I can never really get these screws to go into the frame comfortably enough to like have this not rattle around too much. Uh, but also, and not that it even does anything, but just having a slight extra layer to the bike, even though the pedals stick out way more than this does, this never really fit right with me. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to take this off to get access down here where the 73 logo on the frame is and there should be a hole. Uh, right through there that we got to use as well. And then it looks like that this horn button will be coming off as well because they uh, sent over with it, which is like a stock with their kit, a new horn button that has an additional switch for the turn signals as well. So we have to take this off. Really just looks like just the front half, if you will, because this is kind of connected to the brake. So yeah, just taking off this front half should take it off and then doing a bunch of cabling. I am sure we have to uh, find a way to seamlessly cable manage it all the way to the rear, which should be possible, but we will see as we go. So not gonna flip it over because I wasn't able to get the shipping sticker off, but uh, this is the box that it comes in, okay? I've opened it up just to make sure everything is, is in there, but in case you guys are debating on getting one or you have not seen an unboxing of this, you open it up and it has the turn signals, which I actually kind of like, and I'll get to uh, why specifically in a second. It has the module controller hub, whatever you want to call it for the handlebar that has the horn bun and then the turn signal clicker switch and looks like an adapter for it as well. I don't see, unless we dig around, an instruction manual in here. So, I mean, it should just be pretty straightforward. But one thing I do like about these turn signals is they're flexible, but they're not super stiff. Like if I were to uh, bump into something as I'm riding, they, they bend. So they're not super stiff, not super straight. I don't think that they would just snap off entirely, but the fact that they have some give does kind of add a level of comfort in terms of like, if I were to put the bike in the back of my car on the side, these aren't gonna break if they were just straight on stiff, if that makes sense. So like I said, gonna be installing that onto the RX. A part of me kind of wishes that there was one version of this uh, for the S1, just because I also have the S1 back there. I don't ride it as aggressively as the RX, but it's just a little safety feature to have, along with the horn as well that, you know, could go on the S1, which I'm sure there is. I just have not been bothered to look for one. Um, also, once again, trying this wireless mic setup. We tried it on the camera yes, last video, but today we're trying it on the phone, so let me know how it is. Uh, if it's shit, I'll scrap it and do a voiceover, but let me know how everything is, guys. Uh, but with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you, Luminate, for sending out this turn signal kit and let's get to uh, installing it. Okay, so taking a second quick look, I guess at the unboxing experience again, 
We have the whole controller set up for the handlebar. We have one, two, three, four turn signals and this little doohickey. Which again, I'm not sure if this was like an accident, but there's no instruction. Actually, let me check the website. I could be talking shit about not being instructions in the box, but they might be on the website. Hold on. Okay, so uh, Luminate doesn't necessarily have instructions, like a instruction handbook or whatever on their website to install these. So I'm kind of assuming that these are very straightforward. And I mean, I haven't even looked under the hood of the bike, if you will, to find where these go. So I'm, I'm, I'm gonna guess this is super duper easy. Let's find out. Okay, so now we're moving over to the handlebar section. I guess I'll just call it the controller section just because I don't know what this is actually called. Uh, but I don't want to screw and plug up everything in terms of like this part yet until uh, I know everything works just fine. So that way it saves me trouble. I can just unplug it real quick and do it again. You know, it just, it's a lot easier. So, so this is it right here. It has a new horn bun and it has the turn signal option as well. Very clicking tactile. It's built similar to how the throttle is, is built because it's on a round thing. But uh, let me see if I can figure out which one is the green one that I need to do. Assuming that the horn one is green. It's green! Okay, that's plugged in. At the very least, it's plugged in so that we can test it. Let me throw on the battery just to see how it works. Turning on the bike. I'm honestly not expecting this to work right away, but uh, horn. Okay, horn works. I have this upside down. So it would be something like this. I would obviously take this off, but replace it with this. Uh, but horn works. There we go. And we're gonna try a left signal. Oh no, it's on the right. I mean, that one's, that one's good. I just have them diagonal. Okay, so I have to swap out those cables. And then right signal. They up. Yep. One nice little touch I think would be cool would be uh, maybe in a future Luminade plug and play kit would be uh, an emergency bun. So like, let's say for example, my tire does not want to stay still. Let's say for example, like we get a flat tire and um, what's it? We're on a group ride, we get a flat tire. Maybe a couple of us have these lights set up on our bikes, but we need to pull off to the side of the road or whatever. We can at least like run hazard lights so that way people behind us in the group ride or like maybe a, uh, uh, an e-bike mobile, who, who's ever escorting us, right? Like who's ever is, is escorting us in a vehicle with like actual kits to help us out they know where to find us. Similar to how like if you get a flat tire on your car, you can just turn on the hazard lights and the cars behind you know that you're in trouble or something. Something like that. So that would be cool. So Luminate, if you want to add an additional button to do a, uh, there's a wasp, what the fuck? To do like just an emergency light thing, that would be cool. I would love to see that for like the, your V2 plug and play kit. Who knows? Why is that wasp on my camera? Either way. Uh, but that's pretty much it. Let me fix everything up real quick, put everything together, make it nice and clean, and then get back to you guys to see what the final product will look like. Okay, so once we finished, you know, re-plugging everything back in, repositioning all the, you can't even see it because of the sunlight, but like plugging in everything over here, that's the front view of the turn signals. Pretty flush in comparison to like the rat's nest of cables that I have going on. And then here it is from the back. Hopefully I can show you even though the sunlight but uh, let's try it out. So horn, 
There we go, pretty responsive. Left turn signal, that works. That works, gonna twist it down just a little bit. I'll figure that out. Right turn signal, you can see right there, that works. And that works. All right, we got turn signals. Now let's go try it out. Well, not now, because I'm still clocked in at work, but uh, later, we'll try it out. Sorry for the change of setup. I thought I recorded the final like outro to the video on my phone, but I guess I didn't and I'm too lazy to go back out there. It's cold as hell right now. So I'm gonna do it right here. So in conclusion, should you get the Luminate turn signal kit for your Super 73? In my opinion, yes. Like I mentioned in the video, I'm an avid street rider, even though that the bike is kind of more advertised or marketed towards off-roading and stuff like that. I would use it for daily commuting if it wasn't working for me. And when I do use it to ride around on the streets or like to go run errands or something like that, I always feel awkward whenever I'm like riding and I have to, and I don't, don't have turn signals on, up until now. I was riding and had to like either point or like use some weird arm signal. I know there's like dedicated bike arm signals for like when you're turning, but I never learned them. So I just kind of had to like point saying, I'm turning here, I'm turning here, and kind of assume that the cars behind me knew what I meant, even though they probably didn't. But still, like having actual blinkers now is, I, I feel so much safer riding on the streets. It was real easy to set up. I know I thought that I had to like wire something through the frame of the bike just to make it work, but no, it was literally just plug in the front, plug in the back, and that's it, you're good to go. If you guys do want to go pick this up for yourself, I would definitely recommend it. Like I said, if you're a street rider like me, the link will be in the description down below. Feel free to let them know I sent you. Uh, they were awesome enough to send out this kit for me. And it's probably going to be one of my favorite things on my bike now. So with that being said, if you guys do enjoy the video, drop a like. Leave a comment down below if you guys already have this kit or you're thinking about getting it or what you think of it. Any questions, I'll leave it in the comments down below. Uh, I know this video, it feels like it was all over the place. I don't know how, what went wrong, but while I was editing this video, everything was glitchy for some reason. So if it looks weird, I apologize. But yeah, with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.